What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac here with a tutorial on how to set up Wi Fi MIDI from your iPad or iPhone to your computer. So, the first thing you want to do here is make sure that your computer and your iPad, in this case, are on the same wireless network. So, on a Mac, you can check that here. You, I got the network selected. And I'm going to go on my iPad under settings and Wi Fi. And you'll see I'm also connected to the network. So that's good. The next thing I want to do is open up my audio MIDI setup. This is this app right here. It's in your applications folder inside a folder called utilities. So we open that up and it shows us all of our audio devices that are connected to your computer. We're going to click window and show MIDI window. And this now shows every MIDI device. And you see all the different things I've had connected to my computer are all there. And we're doing this over the Wi-Fi network, so we're going to click Network. And let's pretend I don't have a session open yet, as you won't. So we're just going to click Plus, and it creates a session. I'm going to click it. And this directory is where your iPad is going to show up. Now, it's not going to show up until you open an app that transmits some MIDI. So let's just click on Sound Prism Pro. And once this loads up, you'll see that my iPad has showed up. So I'm going to click Connect. Something to pay attention to, you want to make sure this is set to anyone here, so anyone, any device will show up here. Um, and now we're all connected, so what we want to do next is go into Live's Preferences under MIDI, and you'll see Network Session right here. I have the track set on, this means it will hear the MIDI notes, and I have Remote set on, which means I can MIDI map things, so I can set a note from Sound Prism to control a parameter in Ableton using MIDI mapping. The output session, this is sending MIDI to my app, so I can now send MIDI from Ableton to my iPad. And this is also helps me do that too, same idea with the remote. If I want to sync my iPad's clock to Ableton's, I'm going to click Output Sync right here. That means my iPad, if I'm running in an app that has some kind of time with it, it will sync to my iPad and Ableton will lock together. So. Ableton will be the master. Now if I click Input Sync, that means the iPad will be the master and Ableton is controlled by an external clock and that is showed by this little button here. So I don't want that right now, so I'm going to leave these both undone so nothing gets confused here. And I'm going to close this out. And now you just want to make sure inside your app that you have MIDI enabled. So I'm just clicking on MIDI, Sources and Destinations, and you'll see my network session one is all set up, turned on, so that's good. I'm going to click out of here, and... And there you have it. I'm, f I'm sending MIDI from my iPad to this warm touch synth, which is a part of my Moog Slim Fatty, big fatty pack that I made. This is one of those parameters, one of those synths I've made. So it's pretty cool. Now, this app has just kind of a unique way of controlling MIDI. It's really, it makes you try different things out. Um, a couple tips. Um, something you may want to try to do is to create your own network. Now I'm going over Wi-Fi. This means that my signal is running from my computer to my router and then back. You know, both Everything's connecting through my router. So that adds latency. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new network. And you can name whatever you want. I'll name it Afro DJ Max Network here. I can set up a password if I want. And this is good if you're playing at a gig and you're afraid someone's going to like try to tap into your set here and you know control Ableton using their iPhone which I imagine is possible although kind of rare but if you play in front of a lot of people you might have to worry about that. So the advantages of creating your own Wi-Fi network on your computer is that the signal from your iPad doesn't have to go to the wireless router and then to your computer it goes directly to your computer and as you will notice it reduces a lot of latency your response will be much faster coming from your iPad if you go directly to your computer by creating your own Wi-Fi network. 
Also, you can create your own password, which prevents any kind of wise guy jokesters in the audience from, you know, turning on their iPad or whatever and tapping into your live set, which you really don't want. And a final thing is just read the instructions for each individual app on how to connect to Wi-Fi MIDI. Certain apps like Capture and Lemur, for example, have their own dedicated apps that you just open these up, and if your iPad and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network, it connects automatically. So they won't connect through audio MIDI setup, and you can totally bypass that step. It's really handy and useful, but um, if you don't read the instructions and you don't know that, you're going to be scratching your head as to why you're not getting any Wi-Fi MIDI. So make sure you do that. And uh, I hope that all helps. This is a really great way to... Um, interact with your live sets. Um, it's really a pretty cool thing to be on one side of the room with your iPad, interacting with your computer on the other side totally wirelessly. Um, and you can really imagine there are some creative ways to integrate that into your performances. So I hope that helps and enjoy.